On to our weekly feature, Citizen Planet. And did you know that air pollution is currently considered as the greatest environmental health risk globally, with many parts of the world recording dangerous, dangerously high levels of air pollution? Now, more than 80% of Nairobi city dwellers depend on matatus for their means of transport every single day. Most matatus run on diesel, which is a major source of gases that cause non-communicable diseases that affect the lungs, brain, and other body organs. Absolutely. And as Emily Tibet now reports on tonight's Citizen Planet, one startup company is assembling electric cars in Kenya to bridge the gap as Kenya gears towards a green energy transition. Take a listen. It is a bustle of activity every morning and evening for residents of Nairobi. Traffic congestion is inevitable in and out of the city. Majority depend on public transport. In a city of approximately 5 million people, more than 80% are exposed to the fumes emitted by the diesel engines that ferry them to and from work. At the Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers Limited along Arisa Road in Thika, it is a beehive of activities, a rush against time to finish what has been termed as a possible future in the transport industry. The first locally assembled electric buses by e-mobility company Basigo. The one thing we know about climate change, it's not waiting for us to, for, for everything to, to align. So we had to actually step up and do that. And it's actually inspired by what we saw during the COVID pandemic, where public transport stopped, the air cleared, you could see Mount Kenya. Some places uh, from places like Mulolongo, you could actually see Mount Kilimanjaro. And what was missing is the huge pollution we see uh, from the diesel particulate, especially from public transport. <laughs> Fossil fuel-based vehicles are among the most rapidly growing sources of airborne pollution and present a major public health risk, particularly in Nairobi and its environs. Electric cars, on the other hand, do not emit any fumes. There was a time I was driving and there was a big lorry ahead of me and just black smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. It actually blinded me to the point I could not even see. I remember thinking to myself, like, these are the exact problems that we are facing right now. And not only could it be like a health issue, but it's also, you know, bad for the environment. According to investors, Kenya has the potential to transition fully to green energy. The electric buses can go between 250 to 300 kilometers on full charge. And the addition of more charging stations within the city will meet the demand from different routes. Yeah. This is one of the charging stations in Buruburu area in Nairobi. A number of buses are here for charging over lunch hour. Within the two years we've been operating, we have actually, um, we have actually, our buses have saved over 400,000 liters of diesel. And remember, we started with two buses. Today, we've got 25. Uh, by end of next week, there'll be 28 on the road. So every single bus that we are putting, one mitigates 50 tons of carbon and is saving a lot of diesel from being imported. According to the latest report by State of Global Air and UNICEF, air pollution accounted for 8.1 million deaths globally in 2021, becoming the second leading risk factor for death, including for children under five years. In the report, non-communicable diseases including heart disease, stroke, diabetes, lung cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease accounted for 90% of the disease burden from air pollution. The transport sector contributes to the highest amount of particulate matter. For Kenya to achieve clean air, especially within the city, proper investment from the government and private sector is inevitable. But buying electric cars is expensive, more than twice the amount of a regular diesel car. But environmentalists and experts say the benefits outweigh the cost. We've come up with an innovative financing model that's called pay as you drive. So what an owner, for example, one of the buses will put out a deposit of up to a million shillings uh, for that bus and sign a pay as you drive contract of anything between four and eight years and then they are they pay based on the mileage they do so assuming you do 200 kilometers and your pay as you drive rate is 65 shillings it is not just kenya that is embracing electric vehicles as they are growing in popularity in several countries
Reports indicating that China is leading with over 7 million units of electric cars. North America and Europe make up the top three markets with 1.8 million and 3.2 million units. And as that popularity grows worldwide, investors are hoping that the cost may come down in future. For what is an investment without health? Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.